Hey, what's up, guys? How you guys doing today? So, uh, without further ado, uh, basically, we're going to review the CM12 beta version uh, that's out right now. And I'll have the link for it in the description of this video if you guys want to flash it. Uh, let me just start off by saying that my LG Bolt is not activated. It's currently on Wi-Fi, so... I really can't tell you guys how the 3G speeds are, or um, voice uh, quality, or none of that stuff. Well, I guess I probably could if I used uh, Hangouts Dialer with Google Voice and made a phone call, but I didn't do that. So anyways, uh, let's take a look at it. CM12, which is based on Lollipop. Well, let me unlock it real quick. I was going to lock it in front of you guys, but I'd rather not give up my my uh, pin, or my pattern. So anyways, let's go to the settings real quick. Let's take a look at what we have here. Uh, about phone. And we're running the latest 5.0.2 uh, Lollipop. And this is an unofficial build of Sanjabad for the LG Vault. And, uh, I gotta say, you know, kind of nice. I can never get past one on this. I know there's people who have, but this is a lot harder than it is. Flappy birds. Uh, <laughs> I'm not going to spend my time. So anyways, a um, couple of things that's not working for one. And camera. You guys can see, there I am. Front facing camera. But, um, there's no option to turn the camera to the rear one. The rear camera is not working. There is a workaround uh, by downloading an app. But, uh, I would like to see the camera being fixed. But remember, this is just beta, guys. This is not even a stable version. So here it is, uh, your app drawer. Of course, when you uh, go and press the home button, you get this or the... The three tabs up here, which uh, pretty much like um, gets rid of all of the uh, background processes. Drop down notification is the one that everyone is being all bananas about. Basically, um, you get notifications, and then you get your quick settings. So there's no notifications right now, and then of course you can adjust brightness if you want to. From right there, uh, you can toggle Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, auto rotation, uh, GPS. You can cast the screen and um, yeah, set airplane mode. So, of course, it has a uh, Mr. Google Now launcher. Let's go to uh, Dialer real quick and let's pull up the Dialer. And, uh, yeah, that's the dialer for you guys. So let's go. Um, let's go back to the settings real quick. Show you guys, uh, there's, you have this right here though, before I go into settings. It's, uh, sad. it's like themes. You can apply themes on there. You can download. You see right here, get more themes. And you can, uh, install. Um, so far, just for it being a beta, it's, it's really nice, um, it's pretty smooth and, you know, it doesn't so much feel like it's, uh, in beta still, it, you know, it has that, that feeling like it's just around being a stable version, but therefore it's not, uh, still beta, there's still lots of, um, bugs and fixes that, uh, developers are working on, and you really gotta tip your hat to the developers for getting this far already. You know, with the LG Vault, um, you know, how much of a pain in the butt it was to root the LG Vault, and now, you know, we're getting, we're getting a taste of some really awesome development. Just bringing a device to Lollipop is one thing that a lot of people want. I know, um, a good friend of mine, uh, he really wants Lollipop for his, uh, LG Vault, and, um, you know, if this becomes stable, I'm pretty sure he's going to want to flash this on top. 
top of his uh, LG ball. And it's very nice, too, because it does take away from the LG Optimus launcher and themes and all that stuff. It's just pure stock uh, lollipop. And uh, one of the things that it does bring back is, um, let me go to apps real quick. I'll show you guys. And, um, it does bring back the ability to move apps to the SD card. So if I wanted to, let's say, move Instagram, uh, right there, you guys see that option is open to move it to the SD card. And, uh, well, it says not enough storage space on my SD card, but uh, I have to format the SD card here. So, But, yes, the, you can move apps to SD. And, you know, um, comparing it side by side with the Moto E, which is running um, stock uh, Lollipop, uh, there's really not, not so much of a difference, you know, at all whatsoever. Uh, of course, it wouldn't be, you know, it's based on this. But, you know, it's pretty nice um, getting everybody lollipop for the LG phone. I mean, if you're familiar with Sound Gym 1, you know that there's a lot of, uh, um, like, extra stuff you can do. Uh, if you are flashing this and then, um, you know, you're wondering where Boot is at, let me show you guys. You guys do have to unlock developer options. Again, and right down there where it says Root Access, you're going to have to enable it developer options, but other than that, I mean, this is the beta version, I'm still waiting for a stable version to come out, uh, so, but I'm going to leave this on my LG Vault for now, because, you know, without mobile service and stuff like that, uh, just for it being a device for me to use at home, and, uh, have, you know, Lollipop, it's, you know, it's really nice, um, you know, just, I'm really excited to uh, be able to play around with it, there's a lot to this. Uh, but I do know that this is just a beta version. This is why I'm not really focusing on too much of it just yet. I'm just showing you guys what it looks like. Only because I'm waiting for a much stable version to come out before we, we dig and tear this ROM apart like I used to on my old ROM video. So it's really refreshing to get back to um, showing you guys a ROM, a custom ROM. I haven't done one. I haven't done a video like that in a while, so I'm really excited for that. But, yeah, just giving you guys, you know, just a look at uh, of what's going on here with... Um, this uh, CM12 unofficial build for the LS740 LG Vault. Um, if there's any questions you guys would, you know, want to ask, so when I actually uh, do um, a more deeper review of CM12, once it gets a little bit more stable, I will um, answer those questions in that video, so please ask away in the comment section of this video. If you guys enjoyed this video, please let me know by giving me that thumbs up. So it really lets me know that you guys like what I'm giving you guys. And if you have not subscribed, please do so in the comment section. The comment section. <laughs> Down below, uh, click that subscribe button and yeah, leave a comment in the comment section. Uh, other than that, guys, uh, that's pretty much it for this video. Just showing you guys the LG Vault. Link in the description. Uh, so you guys, if you guys want to flash this on your your vault, you guys can. Um, if you guys want to use it now, or if you guys want to wait for a stable version, which I suggest you guys do. Uh, but if you guys do flash this, remember, like I said in, in the other video, please make a backup. I cannot stress this, how much, you know, people don't make backups that are just quick to flash. I know it's exciting, but you're going to get Lollipop no matter if you wait an extra 10 minutes or if you do it right away. But just on the precautionary side, please make a backup before you flash this in case if anything goes wrong, you have a good reference point to restore your your device back to. Alright? So thanks for watching you guys. You guys are great. I'll see you guys next time.